Hey Gus, this is Gus, and he's a sweet boy, and this morning, come here Gus, this morning I was just looking at him, and the light hit his eye just right, and I was like, wow, you can see around his eye that it seems a little balder on the underside, and then I also noticed that right towards the front there, it looks a little crusty and like there's a little white powder so I think that he has what's starting to be a very very mild case of ringworm now you can see back here he's bald behind the ear that's totally normal a lot of people freak out and they say oh what's going on with my guinea pig's hair it's bald behind the ear that's totally normal but whether this is ringworm or not, I'm going to give him a bath and I'm going to put some antifungal shampoo right there. If you don't have um, fancy pet shampoo, you can use Head and Shoulders and it's you can get it at the dollar store, even a generic version. Gus, don't be mad at me. He does not like to be held, especially for this long. I wasn't going to make a video at first, but, and I thought, I think the value of making a video about this is to show that ringworm, if you can catch it early, it's easy to cure, and also sometimes it doesn't look that bad. Gus, come on, hold still. Gus, remember Gus was... I got Gus from the shelter, so who knows how much handling he ever had. He does not like to be handled much. <laughs> but I like him. So Actually, the fact that he has this black fur and this black spot makes it easier to see what could potentially be ringworm. But if you look closely, I don't really see much powdery. Maybe right there on the tip of his ear that could be a little powdery but you can see right there in his eye um, this could be the beginning stages of ringworm what really tips it off for me is that there seems to be more of a hair loss going on around his eye um, But it's so easy to cure, it's also easy to miss in the early stages. You're going to get a bath now. You're going to get a bath now, Gus. If you don't like this, you're not going to like that. So before this gets too bad, this ringworm, we're going to nip it in the bud. We're going to nip it in the Gus. And we're going to use a couple tricks that I've used in my other bathing videos that you could see in the taming section of my guinea pig care guide. But right here, yes, BB, it's bath time for Gus. Even though I don't see that classic powdery, I do see that it's a little it's balding right there so I'm going to use a paintbrush and I'm going to carefully lather up this area but in addition to that I'm going to just soak him even if he's not that itchy right now I'd rather just do this now uh, and then I will put a little of the athlete's foot cream just really thin a thin film right there and I'll just have to keep that up for a couple days for maybe even a week and we'll just see how it goes so of course you want to make sure that the water is not too hot not too hot not too cold I know you can get that right perfect temperature 
then they're less likely to squirm. But Gus, Gus is just a, a, a big squirmer in general. So really, the easiest thing to do is with your antifungal shampoo, just put some in the water and can you see, just got a nice little soaking thing for him. And then I just wanna get it all over him. And we don't have to sit here the entire time, but a five minute soak is gonna go a long way. Now you do this now, and then you do it three days later and then seven days after that. So it's like a 10 day cycle. Right, BB? Day one, day three, and then day 10. So one week after the second bath, you do the third bath. Now, I really want to get him lathered up all over. Now, the reason why this other bathing videos in the taming section is because the tame guinea pig is going to let you do this a lot easier and the more you do this the more comfortable they will be also my nail clip videos are in the taming section so you see I'm taking this this soapy lather come on I'm taking the soapy lather from here and that's what I'm putting on his face now if you want to know what it feels like to get this soap, this shampoo in your eye, you know, you can go ahead and just take some and put some in your eyes the next time you shower. It's not the end of the world and certainly getting ringworm and having ringworm spread all over your piggy, that's going to hurt a whole lot worse and be a whole lot more uncomfortable than having a little of this in your eye. So, but you see he closes his eye. And that's where the brush comes in, actually. So if I take this lather, some soapy lather from the thing, can you see that very well? So I just take a little lather, and then I'm brushing it very carefully in the areas that seem to be balding. And again, if you want to have empathy for your piggy, Take a little bit of this soapy suds next time you shower and put a little in your eye. You're not going to go blind. It's not going to hurt you that much, but you will get a sense for how uncomfortable it is. So you realize that if you make a mistake, if you do get a little in your piggy's eyes, it's not the end of the world. Like I said, it's way worse to let ringworm get out of control, but even ringworm is not the end of the world either. So many people say that they've gone to the vet and the vet either won't diagnose it as ringworm or they do skin scrapes or they do all these things. You don't need a vet to diagnose ringworm and you can treat ringworm, you can prevent ringworm just the same way that you treat it. So a, a bath with the antifungal shampoo. Now, if I want to, I could also put a little bit more on this brush okay very carefully around the eye and he's gonna close his eye did that hurt did I get some in your eye so you can always rinse it off Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> there he goes. Yes. Because that time we got the actual water in his face. He didn't like that, but I'd rather get water in his face than soap in his eye. But all of these are not the end of the world. You know, this is something that you need to do. If your piggy gets ringworm, we're almost approaching five minutes, so we're pretty much 
we have approached five minutes, so we're done. We just need to rinse them off now and repeat this same thing in a couple more days, okay? But when you have spores possibly all over, if you're doing a normal bath, you don't have to get their faces totally wet. But when you've got ringworm, possible ringworm, you really want to get their skin saturated with this for a few minutes. There we go. Gus, was that your first bath ever? No, probably his second bath. He probably had a bath right after I, I adopted him from the shelter. So that's it. Now, one other quick note. You do not want to do uh, conditioner after an antifungal bath for ringworm because the conditioner can counteract or lessen the effect. In normal circumstances, any conditioner also diluted in the water can go a long way to making the fur uh, very smooth and soft and smell good, etc. Of course, the more natural the ingredients, the better. Um, but a little conditioner is fine, especially for those long hair piggies. But when you're dealing with the ringworm, you do not want to use any conditioner at all. Okay, good. Good. Okay, don't squirm. Just trying to get all this off. Good boy. You're done. You're done. Oh. <laughs> Tidal wave. All right, you just got to drip dry for a minute, and then we will blow dry them. So that's it, you guys. That's all you have to do. A brush like this, I believe this is a, a makeup brush, maybe even a brush from the dollar store or in a value pack. Um, a simple brush. Right, BB? So that's it, guys. I hope you found this helpful. There's way more tips on the uh, free guinea pig care guide on my website in the taming section. So check that out, and I will put right here the full bathing video. This is from a little while ago with my sweet, sweet Billy. Um, it's gotten a lot of views and, and it's helped a lot of people. So if you want an in-depth bathing video, then that's the video for you right there. So until next time, thank you guys.